Hello everyone. Welcome to scarlet.com. My name is Dr. Divan and the topic of the lecture today is lymphatic filariasis. In this lecture, we're going to talk about lymphatic filariasis starting from its causative organism to its treatment. First of all, we'll start with lymph what lymphatic filariasis is. Next on, we're going to talk about what causative organisms are present. What are the causative organisms of lymphatic filariasis? We're going to talk about in detail these three causative organisms, these three causative uh, parasites. And next time we're going to talk about their morphology. How do they look like? What's their size? We're going to talk about how do we differentiate between male species and female species and what are the clinical manifestations in the human body. Next time we're going to talk about the life cycle of these parasites. We're going to talk about how do they complete their life cycle in two organisms varying from human to mosquitoes. We're going to talk about what steps of the life cycle are carried out in the mosquito and we're going to talk about what steps of the life cycle are carried out in the human form. We're going to talk about at what stage they are most potent or at what stage they are most dangerous. Next on we're going to talk about the pathogenesis of lymphatic filariasis. We're going to talk about at what levels or which systems of human body are going to be affected the most. We're going to talk about what's its effect on epithelial cells. We're going to talk about what's its effect on immune cells. And we're going to talk about how they are correlated and how they lead to uh, the levels of lymphedema, hydrocele, and elephantiasis. Next on, we're going to talk about a histopathological slide which is taken out, which shows the involvement of spermatic cord by these microfilaria. We're going to talk in detail how they reach up to this level. Next on, we're going to talk about the clinical features of acute adenolymphangitis. Now, before that, we're going to talk about what are the clinical features that the patient will present to us with. What are those acute features? In those acute features, we have acute adenolymphangitis, which has its own symptoms. We're going to talk about in detail what acute adenolymphangitis is, how does it manifest, and how long does it stay, and how it will be treated. Next on, we're going to talk about the diagnosis. We're going to talk about what points in history are most important to ask from the patient which is suffering. We're going to talk about the physical examination points. Then we're going to talk about the detection of the parasites, techniques which involve ELISA, which involve uh, rapid format immunographic testing, and which involve PCR testing. Then we're going to talk about further on about those imaging modalities we have which will be high frequent ultrasound, which will be lymphoskintography, all of those imaging techniques we're going to talk about. And next on, we're going to talk about those laboratory findings. We're going to talk about what laboratory findings you'll look for regarding eosinophilia, regarding IgE levels raised, regarding antifilarial antibodies. Next on, we're going to talk about the treatment modalities we have for this parasitic infection. So for watching this complete video lecture and the variety of lecture which start from anatomy, physiology, pathology, pharmacology, special pathology, going on to medicine, surgery, there are thousands of lectures. Uh, you can avail free trial lectures uh, with which you can accommodate. So for availing all of it, please subscribe to skydare.com. Thank you for watching.